Hallelujah. And tonight is our ninth part in our uh, Bible nights for this year. Ja täna meil siis meie iga kolmapäeva õhtustest Biibli õhtut, õhtutel üheksas kord. And uh, on our Wednesday night midweek services we are studying the subject of leadership. Ja nendel kolmapäeva õhtustel koosolekud me õpime tundma juhtimist. Because the truth is everyone will need to know how to lead at some point in your life. Sest tõde on see, et me kõik peame teadma, kuidas juhtida mingis mingil hetkel oma elus. Uh, you might not have the title of a leader. Ja sul ei pruugi olla mingit uh, juhi nimetust. But you will lead people. Aga sa juhid inimesi. You will lead, lead those that would look up to you. Ja sa juhid neid, kes vaatavad sinu poole. And really the definition of poole. the definition of a leader. Ja juhi definitsioon on tegelikult see. Is somebody that would show the way. Et keegi kes näitab teed. And somebody that can be an example. Keegi kes võib olla eeskujuks. And so that is what you are to do with your life. Ja seda sa pead tegema oma eluga. You are to show people the way and you are to be an example. Sa pead näitama inimestele teed ja sa pead olema eeskujuks. And so you are called by Jesus to be disciples. Need Jeesus on kutsunud sind olema jünger. And you are called to make disciples. Ja sind on kutsutud ka tegema jüngreid. Amen. Amen. So you are called to be a disciple of Jesus. Need sind on kutsutud olema Jeesuse jünger. And you are called to go make disciples for Jesus ja, Christ. Ja sind on kutsutud minema välja tegema jüngreid Jeesusele. And when you do that, that ja. means you're leading people. Ja kui sa teed seda, siis see tähendab, et sa juhid inimesi. Amen. Amen. You'll be leading people. Sa juhid inimesi. Leading people to Jesus. Juhid inimesi Jeesuse juurde. And so really I think every Christian needs to understand leadership principles. Ja ma usun, et kõik kristlased peaksid aru saama juhtimise põhimõtetest. I think it'll help us to better be able to hook up with the church ja see aitab meil paremini osa võtta koguse tööst that we would be able to work together for one purpose and one cause et me saaksime koostööd teha ühel eesmärgil ühe asja nimel and it will also help us to be a greater success for the for the kingdom of god ja see aitab meil ka jumala riigis olla edukamad and we should be leaders at work me peame olema juhid töö juures with our families oma perekonna juures with our friends oma sõpradega with our neighbors naabrite juures in church koguduses whatever it is that we do i think that all of us should want to 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 be a good example ja üks poha mida me teeme ma usun et me peaksime kõik tahtma olla heaks eeskujuks and so that takes leadership skills ja selleks on vaja juhi oskusi and and for any church to gain momentum ja selleks et üks poha milline kogudus saaks hoogu we need to have leadership siis meil on vaja juhtkonda not just from the pastor mitte ainult pastorid but from all of those that would hook up and be a part vaid kõikide nende poolt kes ühinevad selle tööga and the more people we have that are are pushing this vision forward the the more momentum we will have for the lord ja palju kui mida rohkem on inimesi kes seda visiooni nagu edasi viivad seda suurem hoog on meil kogudusena but like we talked about last time ja nagu me eelmine kord rääkisime before you can be a good leader you know have you have to know how to be a good follower enne kui sa sinu saab hea juht pead sa pead sa teadma kuidas olla hea järgija and until you know how to follow leadership you will never be a good leader ja enne kui sa ei tea kuidas juhti järgida siis sinust ei saa endast head juhti because truly there are things that we can learn in 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 submitting to those that are over us ja tegelikult me võime õppida asju nende käes kellele me ennast alutame that are going to help us in our relationship with the lord mis aitab meid meie suhte sisandaga and it also will help us to to when we stand in a place of leadership be able to relate to those under us ja siis me aitab meil endil ka kui me oleme juba jõudnud juhi positsioonile suhtes suhtes olla nende inimeste kes on meie all but if you are not a good follower aga kui sa ei ole hea järgija i guarantee you you will never be a great leader siis ma luban et sinust ei saa kunagi head juhti and so we need to learn how to follow but we also need to know what what it is to lead et me peame seda teadma seda kuidas järgida aga me peame teadma seda ka mida tähendab juhtimine and leadership in the church is going to take some courage and take some discipline ja juhtimine kogudus tähendab et meil on disipliin ja meil on julgus and there's going to be times that you're going to need to step out in faith and believe god ja on aeg mille me peame usus välja astuma ja uskuma jumalat and when we do ja kui me teeme seda we know that god will always show up for us siis me teame et jumal ilma palati kohale meie jaoks amen amen and so this is what we believe ja seda me usume we believe god is god will back up his promises me usume seda et jumal seisab oma tootuste taga so we stand on the promises of god ja selle pärast me seisame tema tootustel now i want to read here out of proverbs chapter 14 and verse 28 ja ma tahan lugeda siin õpetus sõnade 14. peadukis 28. salmist and i want to read this out of the message translation ja lugeda seda message biiblist and it says here the mark of a good leader is loyal followers ja näidud et hea juhi tunnuseks on ustavad järgijad leadership is nothing without a following ilma järgijat et pole juhtimisel mõtet leadership is nothing without a following ilma järgijat et pole juhtimine mitte midagi and so anyone, so anyone who is a good leader ja igaüks kes on hea juht needs to 
to know where they're going. Peab teadma seda, kuhu ta läheb. If you don't know where you're going, how can you lead there? Ja kui sa ei tea, kuhu sa lähed, kuidas sa saad inimesi juhtida sinna. And so I think a lot of people, they try to lead and they have no clue where they're going. Ja paljud inimesed püüad juhtida, aga neil pole aimugi, kuhu nad tahavad minna. And not only do they end up being confused, everybody following them ends up being confused. Ja tagajärjena ei ole mitte ainult nemad segaduses, vaid kõik need ka, kes neid järgivad, on segaduses. And we see this in, in firms, we see this in churches. Ja me näeme seda juhtumas firmades ja kogu. We see this in families. Me näeme seda perekondades. Where the, the where if there is no leadership. Kus see ei ole juhte. If you don't know where you're going, if you have no goals. Kui sul kui sa ei tea kuhu sa lähed, kui sul ei ole eesmärke. You are just going to wander through life and you are never going to going to be able to do much. Siis sa lihtsalt eksel läbi elu ja ei ole iialgi võimeline midagi suurt korda saama. And anyone who is a good leader is not going to need to tell you that they're a good leader. Aga kui tegemist on hea juhiga, siis selleks ta ei, ta ei pea ütlema, et ta on hea juht. Kui sulle ei ole vaja öelda, et ta on hea juht. The more somebody needs to tell me how great a leader they are, the less I believe that they are a leader. Mida rohkem inimesed peavad mulle ütlema, kui suured juhid nad on, siis seda vähem ma usun, et nad on tegelikult juhid. Leadership should be seen by the fruit from somebody's life. Ja selle juhi peab ära tundma sellest viljast, mis on tema elus. You should be able to see it in the family. Sa pead nägema seda tema perekonnas. You should be able to see it in his job. Tema tööjuures. You should be able to see it in the, the just the responsibility they take upon themselves. Ja sa pead nägema seda selles vastutuses, mis nad võtavad ennese kanda. Even in areas where they might not be a leader. Isegi nendes valdkonnas, kus nad ei pruugi olla juhid. You can see that there's potential in them or you could see the gifts that are in them. Sa võid näha seal ikkagi potentsiaali ja, ja neid ande. And so you will know people by their fruit. Et sa tunned ära inimesed nende vilja kaudu. And this is both positive and negative. Ja see puudutab nii positiivset kui ka negatiivset. Amen. Amen. I know some people that I want to stay far away from because I see their fruit. Ma tean inimesi, kes ma tahan võimalikult kaugel hoida, sest ma tean, millin on nende vili. But I also see people that I want to be really close to because I see their fruit. Aga ma tean ka inimesi, kellele ma tahan võimalikult lähedal olla, sest ma näen nende vilja. And so leadership is not something that, that you need to, to tell. Leadership should be seen. Nii et juhtimine ei ole, ju, juhiks olemine ei ole mitte midagi sellist, mida sa pead ütlema inimestele, et sa oled, vaid seda on näha. And when it comes to, to the church and the kingdom of God. Ja mis puudub kogudusse Jumala riiki. Jesus talked about leadership a little bit differently than sometimes the world thinks. Siis Jeesus rääkis juhtimise kohta natuke teist moodi kui tavaliselt maailm seda teeb. And when Jesus was teaching his disciples how to lead in, in, in the kingdom of God, this is what he said. Kui Jeesus rääkis oma jüngritele, kuidas juhtida Jumala riigi, siis see on see, mis ta ütles. Look here in Mark chapter 9. Vaata, vaata siin Markus 9. peadükis. Mark chapter 9 and verse 35. Sain 35. It says, and he sat down and he called the twelve over to him. And he said, whoever wants to be the first must be last. And whoever wants uh, and, and be the servant of everyone else. Ja tema istus maha ja kutsus need kaks teist ning ütles neile, kui keegi tahab olla esimene, siis olgu ta kõikidest viimne ja kõikide teenija. And so we, we need to see ourselves as servants that helping people to go higher. Ja me peame nägema ennast teenijatena, kes aitavad inimestel minna kõrgemale. And the more you help people go higher, ja mida rohkem sa aitad inimestele edasi jõuda, the more you will be lifted up in a position of leadership in the kingdom of God. Seda enam tõstetakse sind ennast ka kõrgemale juhi positsioonil Jumala riigis. A lot of time the world has this mentality. Tihti lugu on maailma selline aru saam. That I am your leader, so you need to lift me up. Et mina olen sinu juht ja sellepärast sina pead mind üles tõstma. You need to make sure that I am the man. Ja sa pead aru saama, et mina olen see tähtis mees. And I'm going to use you and I'm going to use your talents to make myself look so much better. Ja ma kasutan sind ja sinu andeid selleks, et ise pal- palju parem välja näha. And a lot of times that's the world thinking of leadership. Ja tihti lugu on see maailma aru saam juhtimisest. They're thinking if the leader, leader is lifted up, then, then the... the the company or whatever will be lifted up. Ja siis nad arvavad, kui juht on kõrgele tõstetud, siis on ka nagu selle läbi firma kõrgel paremal positsioonil. But we see that that rarely does any good. Aga me näeme, et, et see väga harva toob midagi head nendaga kaasa. The leadership that Jesus has given us, I think not, doesn't only work in the church, I think it works anywhere. Ja ma arvan, et see uh, arusaam juhtimisest, millest Jeesus rääkis, et see ei toimi mitte ainult kogudusest, vaid see toimib igal pool. And this is, this is where the leader gets down with those that are with him. Ja, ja juht peab olema siis nagu ühel, ühe pulga peal nendega, keda ta juhib. And does his very best to lift them up. Ja anma oma parima, tegema oma parima, et tõsta teisi inimesi üles. So that they can shine. Nii et nemad võiksid sarada. And that's going to be what makes him look so much better. Ja see on siis, mis, mis paneb tema ka enda paremasse valgusesse. And so, uh, you know, you need to remember, especially in the church. Ja eriti koguduses me peame meeles pidama. You are not the answer to everybody's... Uh, 
desires. Et meie ei ole vastus kõikide inimeste soovidele või igatsustele. And, and uh, everybody's um, uh, wishes in life and ja kõikide inimeste soovidel elus. You are not the answer. Sina ei ole vastus. Because there is always somebody who do what you do a whole lot better than you do it. Sest alati on, kõik, alati on neid inimesi, kes teevad palju paremini neid asju, mida sina teed. And there are people that can do what I do better than me. Ja on inimesi, kes võivad teha paremini neid asju, mida mina teen. Maybe. Või bolla. <laughs> <laughs> But there's always somebody that could do something better. Aga on alati neid, kes võivad teha asju paremini. And so you are not unreplaceable. Nii et sina ei ole asendamatu. You know, I used to, when I first started in the ministry, I didn't think, I don't think I had a good grip on this. Ja kui ma alustasin teenistuses alguses, siis ma ei saanud sellest asjast, ei saanud selle asjale õigeti pihta. And I had people that worked with me. Ja oli inimesi, kes töötasid minuga. And I thought, oh no, you know, they're not really working out, but if they leave, what am I going to do? Ja ma mõtlesin, et kui nemad lahkuvad, mis siis see minust küll saab? You know, it's, it's, I, I, I don't really want to work with them anymore, but what if they leave? Ma ei taha nendega enam töötada, aga kui nad lahkuvad, mis siis saab? One thing I learned right away. Aga üks asi, mida ma kohe õppisin selle läbi. God will always replace. Oli see, et Jumal alati asendab. And a lot of times it's better. Ja tihti lugu parematega. Amen. Amen. And so just, just don't think yourself is so important. Need ära mõtle, et sa oled nii tähtis. Just know that you, you are called and privileged to be able to do what you do. Tea, et sa oled kutsutud ja et sul on eesõigus teha neid asju, mida sa teed. And as long as you look at it like that. Ja nii, pea, nii kaua, kui sa vaatad asjadele nii. You are going to be settled in your heart. Siis sa oled rahul oma südames. And you are going to know that, that you know, I, I, I'm so honored to be able to have this opportunity. Ja siis sa tead, et sa, et sa oled nii, sul on nii suur au neid vastutusi täita. So whether you are an usher, et kas sa oled siis koha näitaja, you're on the worship team, oled ülistus mees tiimis, you're back doing the sound, või siis oled seal helipulli taga, if you're with the kids, oled laste kirikus, whatever it is that we do, üks puha, mida me teeme, that we should do that with all of our heart. Me peaksime tegema seda kogu südames. No and that if we don't do it, God will bring somebody else in that will. Tead, et kui meie ei tee seda, siis Jumal toob kellegi teise selle meie asemele. Amen. Have you noticed that? Kas sa oled seda tähele panna? Right. And so this is one thing that we need to be really aware of. Ja see, in our church and in our lives. Ja see on üks asi, milles me peame olema väga teadlikud nii koguduses kui ka oma elus. Is that you are not as important as sometimes you want to be. Et sa ei ole nii tähtis nagu sa mõnikord tahaksid olla. And so my point is this. Ja mis ma tahan sellega öelda on see. No one is unreplaceable. Et mitte keegi ei ole asendamatu. And if you want to be a great leader in the kingdom of God. Ja kui sina tahad olla suur juht Jumala riigis. You need to be the best servant that you can be. Siis sa pead olema parim teenija, kes sa üldse oskad olla. That means that you, you help people. See tähendab, et sa aitad inimesi. That means you put others above yourself. See tähendab, et sa sead teised endast, endast ette. That means their situation comes before your situation. See tähendab, et nende olukord on sinu jaoks tähtsam kui sinu enda olukord. And sometimes that's not so easy. Ja mõnikord ei ole see suguga nii lihtne. Especially when you're struggling with something. Er, eriti kui sina ise võitled millega kõik. And you have to put somebody else's struggles above your struggles. Aga sa pead kellegi teise võitlused oma võitlustest ette poole seadma. Sometimes that's not so easy. Mõnikord ei ole see nii kerge. But I guarantee if you do it, there's going to be grace. Aga ma luban, et kui sa teed seda, siis selle üle on arm. And there's going to be help from heaven. Ja taevane abi. He is going to strengthen you. Ta, Jumal teeb sind tugevamaks. And I've noticed this, the more I help people, the more God helps me with my problems. Ja ma olen seda tähele pannud, et mida rohkem aitan inimesi, seda rohkem aitab Jumal mind minu enda probleemidega. He brings people to long to help me. Ja ta toob inimesi, et mind aidata. Or he causes me to have an idea that helps everything just get easier. Või ta aitab, anna mulle mingisuguse mõtte, mis sa aitab kõikidele asjadel palju kergemini laheneda. But again, it comes when you put others first. Aga see tuleb selle läbi, et sa paned teised inimesed endast ette poole. And so this is kind of what, what it is to be a leader in the kingdom. Ja see, seda tähendab olla Jumala riigis juht. Now last time we began looking at King Saul. Ja möödunud kord me hakkasin vaatama kuningas Sauli. And kind of the failures that, that he uh, went through in his, his time as a leader. Neid läbi kukkumisi, millest, mis, mida ta kohtas oma uh, elus juhina. Saul was very insecure. Ja Saul oli väga ebakindel. And even though on the outside he just looked like a king. Ja kuigi ta väliselt, välimused oli nagu tõeline kuningas. Even on the outside he looked like somebody who could rule the world. Ja väliselt ta nägi välja nii nagu keegi, kes suudaks maailma valitseda. On the inside he was very insecure. Aga sisemiselt oli ta väga ebakindel. And it caused a lot of problems. Ja see tekitas palju probleeme. And there was a lot of tra- there was traps that that Saul fell into. Ja 
oli lõkse, milles Saul langes. And, and there's much that we can learn from him. Ja temalt me võime selles osas palju õppida. Because he was one that, that did not earn his position. Sest tema ei olnud see, kes uh, he was he did not earn his position. Ta, ta ei olnud inimene, kes teenis välja oma positsiooni. He was placed in a position. Vaid ta asetati sinna positsioonile. And so, positsioonile. so instead of growing into becoming the king. Ja selle asemel et kasvada sellesse kuningaks olemisse. He was just placed as a king and then he fell down. Ta lihtsalt pandi sinna kuninga koha peale ja ta langes sealt siis. And lõpus. so that spiral down. Ja see oli nagu alla käigus spiraal. Is what I want to begin looking at when we're looking here at leadership. Ja seda ma tahan vaadata, kui me vaatame juhtide omadusi. And I want to see what it was that he had to to uh, deal with in his life that we could maybe guard our own lives. Ja ma, ma tahan vaadata seda, millega ta pidi oma elus kokku puutuma, et meie võikseme sanastes asjade eest ennast hoida. Because to be honest, what happened to King Saul could happen to anybody. Me, kui aus olla, siis see, mis juhtus kuningas Sauliga, võib juhtuda iga ühega. And I think this is why it's in the Bible. Ja see, ma usun, et see on põhjus, miks see on piiblis. So that we can learn from, from his failures. Et me võiksime tema läbi kokkumistest õppida. The first thing that we, we saw last time was this. Ja esimene asi, mida me möödunud kord nägime, oli see. The first trap that he fell into was he made decisions and promises. Ja esimene lõks, milles seda langes, oli see, et ta tegi uh, otsuseid ja andis lubadusi. In very highly emotional moments. Väga uh, emotsionaalsed, väga, väga, või väga emotsionaalsetes olukordades. And then he, uh, he acted sometimes as if he never said what he said. Ja mõnikord ta käitus nii, et ta ei teinud selle järgi, mida ta ütles. He failed in, in, the, in the promises that he made. Ja ta ei täitnud neid lubaduse, mis ta andis. And this was part of the reason that, that he began to go down. Ja see oli üks põhjus, et miks, ta, miks algas tema alla käid. Because those that worked with him and those that were under him never knew what to do or not to do. Sest need, kes olid tema alluses ja kes töötsid temaga, ei teanud kunagi, mida teha ja mida, mida mitte teha. For example, in the relationship with David. Näiteks suhtes Taavetiga. Some days he wanted to kill David. Mõni, mõnel päeval Saul tahtis Taavetit tappa. Some days he wanted him to come in and eat with him. Mõne, mõnikord ta tahtis, et ta tuleks ja sööks koos temaga. And so how would you like to be one of the soldiers? Et kuidas sa tahaksid olla üks nendes sõduritest? Never knowing what is the mood of Saul on how I'm to treat David today. Tead, teadmata, milline on parajasti Sauli meeleolu ja kuidas sa peaksid Taavetit kohtlema. Should I kill David or should I invite him into the house? I don't know. Kas ma peaksin Taavetit tappma või peaksin ta kutsuma sisse? Ma ei tea. And so this, this shows that, that when you make those decisions in those highly emotional moments, they are never good decisions. Nii et see näitab seda, et kui me teeme, võtame vastu otsuseid väga emotsionaalsetel hetkedel, siis need ei ole kunagi head otsused. And something that might help you is this. Ja mis, üks asja, mis võib siin taidata on see. Always promise a little and do more. Alati luba vähem ja tee rohkem. Instead of promising a lot and just do a little. Selle asemel, et lubada palju ja teha vähem. Right? And so if, if you could just, just say, okay, well, I'll take care of that for you and then come back and you've done twice as much as you said, people are going to be like, you're amazing. Ja kui sa lubad kellegile teha midagi ja siis teed topelt nii palju, siis inimesed on hämmastavad, kui, sa, kui nad näevad, mida sa oled teinud ja ütlevad, et sa oled vapustav. Then if you just said, I'm going to do all this for you. Aga kui sa ütled, et ma teen kõik selle sinu eest ära. And maybe you don't do as much as you said. Ja võibolla ei tee nii palju, kui sa lubasid. They're going to look at you and say, but I thought you said you were going to, but oh, I just not. Okay. Inimesed vaatavad ja ütlevad, et kuule, et ma sain aru, et sa teed selle ära, aga, aga ei ole teinud. You did the same amount of work, but in one way you're amazing and the other way you, you're just average. Ja sa tegid võibolla täpselt sama palju tööd ja ühel, ühel Ühel hetke, ühede jaoks olid sa hämmastav ja teiste jaoks olid sa lihtsalt ta- tavaline. And, and so just, just make sure that when you lead, ja et ole kindel, kui sa juhid, you are following up your decisions, every one that you make, to the very best of your ability. Et siis sa oma, võimete, oma parimate võimete järgi teen nende lubaduste kohased, mida sa oled annud. If you say you're going to do something, you do it. Kui sa ütled, mida, et, ütled et ma teen midagi, siis sa tee ka seda. If you say you're going to be there, you be there. Kui sa lubad, et sa oled kohal, siis ole ka kohal. And when you do, that brings security to everybody around you. Ja kui, see, kui sa teed seda, siis see annab turvatunde kõikidele inimestele, kes on sinu ümber. When people know that you are a man or a woman of your word. Kui inimesed teavad, et sina oled oma sõnade tagas, oled oma sõnamees, when, sõnapidaja mees või when, sõnapidaja naine. When people know that, that you will give up yourself for them. Kui inimesed teavad, et sa annad ennast teiste eest. They're going to feel safe and secure. Siis nad tunnevad ennast kindlat ennast. And in return they will give themselves up to support you. Ja vastu tasuks nad annavad ennast, et sind toetada. And so one of the things that I try to do as the, the leader of this church. Ja üks asi, mida ma püüan teha selle koguduse juhina. Is I try to make sure that everybody is, is doing their very best. On see, et teha kindlaks, et kõik annavad oma parima. To step up and do, do things that are exceeding expectations. Ja astuvad üles, et 
teevad asju, mis on üle ootuste. And I think that's what makes our church so amazing. Ja ma te- usun, et see on üks põhjused, miks meie kogudus on nii tore nagu ta on. Because I think our church exceeds expectations time and time again. Sest ma usun seda, et meie kogudus ületab inimeste ootusi tihti lugu. And so if people can trust your word, ja kui inimesed võivad osaldada sinu sõna, and then they're not going to hesitate to trust you. Ja siis nad ei kõhkle sinu usaldamisel. But remember that nobody is perfect. Aga pea meeles, et mitte keegi ei ole täiuslik. There is no person that has walked the earth that is always going to do everything right. Ja ei ole maa peal kõndinud sellist inimest, kes kõik asjad teeb alati õigesti. And so don't be so hard when when people aren't able to fulfill their promises. Ja ära ole siis nii karm kui inimesed ei ole täitnud oma lubadusi. Maybe there was a reason they couldn't do it, maybe something happened. Ja võib-olla oli mingi põhjus, miks nad ei saanud seda teha või midagi juhtus. Or get this. Või sa sa pihta sellele. Maybe they just forgot. Võib-olla nad lihtsalt unustasid ära. Have you ever forgot to do something? Oled sa kunagi unustanud midagi teha? Don't you feel horrible? Kas sa tundsid ennast siis väga alast? Oh man, I forgot. Oh, ma unustasin ära. You know, and so, but, you know, so that happens to everybody. Aga seda juhtub kõigiga. It doesn't mean you're a bad person. See ei tähenda, et sa oled halb inimene selle pärast. It's just sometimes we, we just, just blow it. Ma ei lihtsalt ma mõnikord... Uh, Jõelda, we make mistakes. Teeme, teeme and so what we need to do is just get to a place that we're not so hard on others, we're not so hard on ourselves. Do our best to always think the best of other people. Ja teeme parimat, alati mõelda kõikides inimesed parimat. And, and uh, you know, help people. Ja aidata inimesi. But don't be so quick to, to give your trust away either. Aga ära ole ka väga kiire oma usaldust andma. I think trust should be earned. Ta, ta, ma arvan, et usaldus, see tuleb ära teenida. Amen. And just because somebody has a position of leadership doesn't mean you just fully trust them because they have a title. Ja see, et kellegil on, keegi on mingil juhi positsioonil, ei tähenda, et sa peaksid teda täielikult usaldama sellepärast lihtsalt, et tal on mingi silt, et ta on juht. And when, when you get to know somebody's character, it can build some trust. Ja kui sa õpite inimese, inimest tundma tema iseloomu, siis see võib et, ja, tekitada sinu usaldust tema vastu. And so I think that we should be desiring to trust people. Ja ma arvan, et me peaksime soovima tahtma inimese usaldada. We should be wanting people in our lives that we can trust. Ja me peaksime soovima, et me elus oleksid inimesed, keda me saame usaldada. But we can't be too quick to give our trust away. Aga me ei peaks liiga kiiresti usaldama hakkama. And so uh, Saul as a leader, he fell under the trap of, of uh, making decisions in emotional times. Ja Saul oli siis juht, ta langes selles lõksu, et tegi otsuseid emotsionaalsetel hetkedel. The second trap is what I want to look at here tonight. Ja teine lõks, kuhu ta langes, mida ma tahan siin täna õhtul vaadata. Saul was overly influenced by the opinions of others. Ja oli see, et Sauli mõjutas li- liialt teiste inimeste arvamus. He was overly influenced by the opinions of others. Ja ta oli ülemära mõjutatud inimeste, teiste inimeste arvamusest. In Saul's, Saul's head, what, what, in his thinking, ja Sauli mõtlemises, he was always concerned about what do others think about me? Ta oli alati mures selle üle, mida teised küll minust mõtlevad. If you are, as a leader, if you are always wondering what other people think about ja, you, you are never going to be able to re- really lead right. Ja kui sa oled juht ja mõtled alati selle peale, mida küll teised inimesed minu mõtle, minust mõtlevad, siis sa ei ole kunagi võimeline õigesti juhtima. But I want to read from, from uh, some of this here and let's go to 1 Samuel chapter 13. Ja ma tahan natuke selles, selle teema lugeda. Läheme esimese Samueli 13. peadükki. 1 Samuel chapter 13. I'm going to start here with verse 8 and we're going to uh, read several verses. Ja esimene Samueli 13. Ma alustan salmist 8. Me loeme mõned salmid siit. Um, says here and then, then he waited seven days the time set by Samuel. But Samuel did not come to Gilgal, and so Saul's men began to scatter. Kui ta oli oodanud seitse päeva Saamueli poolt määratud ajani, Saamuel aga Kilgalisse ei tulnud, siis hakkas rahvas tema juures laiali valguma. And so he, Saul, said, bring me the burnt offering and the, fellowsh- uh, and the fellowship offerings, and Saul offered up the burnt offerings. Ja siis ütles Saul, tooge mulle põletusoffer ja tänu ofrid, ja ta ofredas põletusoffri. And just as he began making the offerings, Aga kui ta põletusofri ofedamis oli lõpetanud, Samuel arrived. Vaata, siis tuli Samuel. So here they had to wait for Samuel, who was the priest. Ja nad pidid siin ootama, siis Samueli järele, kes oli preester. But when the priest didn't show up right on time, aga kui preester õige aegselt kohal ei tulnud, and the men began to get a little bit nervous, ja inimesed hakkasid muutuma närviliseks, you know, uh, we don't know what God wants us to do. Ja me ei tea seda, mida Jumal tahab, et me teeksime. And so they began to get nervous. Siis nad uh, muutusid närviliseks. The king says, all right, I'll do it. Ja siis kuningas ütles, okei, okay, ma teen selle ise siis. I just bring the stuff to me, I'll do it. Tooge see kraam siia ja ma teen selle ise ära. And just as he's doing it, 
here comes Samuel. Ja siis parasti, kui ta seda tegi, tuli Samuel. And so, Sam, or so Saul went out to greet Samuel. Ja Saul läks siis Samuelile vastu, et ta tervitada. What have you done? Mida sa oled, Samuel. Mida sa oled teinud, küsis Samuel. What have you done? Mis sa oled teinud? What have you done? Mis sa oled teinud? He thought he was doing a good thing because he wanted to keep, keep his eyes and the people good. Ja, ja Saul arvas, et ta tegi midagi head, et, et ta, he tahtis, ta tahtis see inimeste silmis hea välja näha. He tried to keep his army happy. Ta tahtis, et ta armee oleks annelik. And so he did what the priest should have done. Ja ta tegi seda, mida preestel oleks pidanud tegema. Now back in those days it was very important who did what. Ja tollal oli väga tähtis see, mida keegi tegi. And the priest did not do the king's work, but the king did not do the priest's ja, work. Ja preestel ei teinud kuninga tööd ja kuningas ei teinud preestil tööd. And so when the king stepped over the line, he sinned. Ja kui kuningas astus sellest piirist üle, siis ta tegi pattu. But he didn't want to look bad. Aga ta ei tahtnud, et ta näeb halb välja. He didn't want his, his guys to think that he missed God. Ja ta ei tahtnud, et ta armee või ta sõdurid saavad aru, et ta pani Jumalast mööda. He didn't want, want them to think that, that you know, we're following this guy who doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> ja ta ei tahtnud, et inimesed hakkaksid mõtlema, et me järgime mees, kes ei tea, mida ta teeb. I'm just telling you, uh, that's, that's how I feel most of the time in pastoring this church. Ja ma ütlen teile, et mina tunnen ennast enamus ajal sellest enamus ajal selle ajal, mis ma olen pastoriks olnud. I'll just be honest, I don't know what I'm doing. Ma olen ja ma, ei, ma ütlen teile, et ma ei tea, mida ma teen. Most of the times I just show up, I'm like, God, where you better show up. Enamikul korda ma lihtsalt tulen kohale, ütlen, et Jumal, parem on, kui sa tuled kohale. But I've gotten used to that because that's my everyday life. Aga ma olen sellega harjunud ja see on minu igapäevane elu. But for Saul, this was something that he was trying so much to win a people's approval. Aga Saul jaoks oli see midagi mille läbi ta püüdis väga võite inimest heaks kiitu. That he was willing to sin to get people to think he was a good guy. Et ta oli valmis pattu tegema sellepärast, et inimesed arvaksid, et ta on hea mees. And he missed it. Ja ta pani sellega mööda. And when he did miss it, ja kui ta seda tegi, at first, if you, if you read through the story, he has a bunch of excuses. Ja siis, kui me loeme selle loo läbi, siis me leiame, et ta oli palju vabandusi. He had excuses why. Ta oli vabandusi, miks ta seda tegi. But really, he was the one that sinned and he knew it was wrong. Aga tegelikult tema oli see, kes tegi pattu ja teadis, et see oli valem, Now let's tegi. jump ahead a couple of chapters. Ja üppame mõned peadükid edasi. To 1 Samuel chapter 15. Esimene Samuel 15. See peadüki. 1 Samuel 15 and verse 24 says this. Psalm 24 ütleb siin nii. It says, and then Saul said to Samuel, I have sinned and I violated the Lord's command and your, and your instruction. I was afraid of the men and so I gave in to them. Ja Saul ütles Samuelile, ma olen pattu teinud, sest ma olen astunud üle Jehova käsust ja sinu sõnadest. Selle pärast, et ma kartsin rahvast ja kuulasin nende häält. It took him two chapters to finally admit that he blew it. Nii et kulus, selleks kuulus kaks peadüki, et ta lõpuks tunnistus, et ta on asjas, asja käki, käki kokku keeranud. And then look at verse 25. Ja siis vaatame salmi 25. Now I beg you, Samuel, forgive me my sin and come back with me so that I may worship the Lord. Aga anna nüüd ometi mulle mu patta andeks ja pööd ühes minuga tagasi, et saaksin kummardada Jehovat. And so he disobeyed a direct command from the Lord. Ja ta astus üle uh, otsesest Jumala korraldusest. And then he, he uh, because he didn't want to look bad. Sest ta ei tahtnud, et endast alba muljet jätta. And then he's in front of the people. Ja siis ta on inimest ees. And they're not, they're, not, they're not understanding what he's doing and why he's doing it. Ja nad ei saa aru, miks ta, mida ta teeb ja miks ta seda teeb. Then here comes the priest. Ja siis tuleb preester. And everybody's going, see, the priest should have done that. Ja siis kõik ütlevad, et preestel oleks pidanud seda tegema. What was the king doing that for anyway? Miks üldse kuningas tegi seda, mida ta tegi? And so now he's feeling bad. Ja nüüd on tal tunneb ennast alvasti. Because he realized, yes, I was my mistake. Ja ta tunneb, et see oli tema viga. And all these people think that I'm a bad person now. Ja inimesed võtlevad nüüd, et ma olen alb ja juht, alb inimene. But if you just come with me. Aga kui sina tuled minuga ütlesta saamalele. If you just stand beside me. Kui sina seisad minu kõrval. They'll think that you like me. Siis nad arvad, et, sa, et ma meeldin sulle. And then, then they will like me. Ja siis, Ma meeldin neile ka. And so Samuel, as long as you like me, the people will like me. Et Samuel, nii ka kui ma sulle meeldin, siis meeldin ma ka inimestele. And so he, he begs Samuel to travel with him. Ja ta palub, et Samuel tuleks tema ka kaasa. Please come back and, and be with me. Palun, tule ja ole koos minuga. Again, for the one purpose. Taas ühel, ühel eesmärgil. To make him look good before the people. Et ta näeks inimeste silmis hea välja. He was so insecure as the leader. Ta oli juhine nii ebakindel. That he was always trying to make himself look good. Et ta püüdis alati ennast äh, nagu paremas valguses äh, paista näidata. You will, näidata. Wear, ja. you will wear yourself out trying to make yourself look good. Aga kui sa püüad seda kogu aeg teha, siis sa 
Ja väsitad ennast ära. It will begin to consume you. It will consume your thoughts. It will consume your heart. See haarab sinu mõtted, see haarab sinu südame ka endaga. If you're always trying to look good. Kui sa püüad alati hea välja näha. And you're going to be calling people, trying to tell them, hey man, I'm really a good guy. Ja sa ehistad inimest ütlete, et kuule, ma olen tegelikult üks hea, hea inimene. I know you might have heard some stuff about me, but that's not really true. Ma tean, et sa oled kuulnud minu koht tegelikult, et kuule aga see ei ole tõsi. Oh my goodness, those kind of people can drive you crazy. Sellised inimesed võivad ajada sa hulluks. Don't be that. Ära ole seda. Don't be the person who's always trying to prove yourself. Ära ole see inimene, kes püüab ennast alati tõestada. Because all that's showing is an insecurity in the inside see of you. See lihtsalt näitab seda, et sa oled ebakindel enda sees. And then look here in verse 30 of, of 1 Samuel chapter 15. Ja vaatame siin 1. Samuel 15, 30. salmi. And then Saul replied, I have sinned, but please honor me before the elders and the people and before Israel. Come back with me, so that I may worship the Lord your, your God. Ta vastas, ma olen patu teinud, aga osuta nüüd ometi mulle seda au, mu rahva vanemate iisali ees ja tule ühes minuga tagasi, et saaksin kummadada Jehovat su Jumalat. So again, as the leader, he was so concerned about how he looked. Ja taas juhin oli ta väga mures sellepärast, kuidas ta näeb välja teist inimeste silmis. That he was willing to do wrong things. Et ta oli valmis tegema vale asju. He was willing to go against his own heart. Et ta oli valmis minema oma südame vastu. Because he knew right and wrong. Sest ta teadis, mis asja on õige, mis asja on vale. He admits here, I, 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 I sinned. Ta tunnistab siin, et ma tegin patu. But then he wanted everybody to like him anyway. Aga ta tahtis ikkagi, et, kõik, et ta meeldiks kõikidele. And so his whole life he was trying to make people like him. Ja terve oma elu püüdis ta panna inimesi, et, nad, et ta meeldiks neile. Let me just stop right here and just explain something to you. Ja ma teen siin väikese pausi ja selgitan teile midagi. As the leader, juhina, you will never have everybody like you. Ei ole, ei tule kunagi sellist aega, kus sa kõikidele meeldid. It's impossible. See on võimatu. If that was possible, our church would be so stinking huge. Ja kui see oleks võimalik, siis meie kogudus oleks nii tohutu suur. But I think the reason it's so small is there's a lot of people that don't like me. Aga ma arvan, et põhjus on selles, et ma paljud inimest ei meeldi. <laughs> And so what, 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 it, what it is when you lead, ja kui sa juhid, is you need to know the decisions you make is not going to make everybody happy all the time. Siis sa pead teadma, et need otsused, mida sa teed, need ei tee kõik inimes alati õnnelikuks. My dad used to tell me this. Mu isa ütles mulle uh, ikka seda. My dad was a, as a guy, all, his whole life was built around sayings. Ja tema elu oli ehitatud nagu igasugustele ütelustele. He had a saying for everything. Tal oli mingi ütelus kõikide asjade jaoks. And they were his little parables that he would, he would just say all the time. That's how he lived his life. Need oli nagu teeme iga, igasugused, noh, ma, ma ei tea, vana sõnad või ütlused. Yeah, just that. Yeah, and, and it was so funny at his funeral when he died, there was people that got up and they were quoting all of his sayings. Yeah, nallekas oli see, et kui ta Kui ta suri ja siis matustel inimesed citeeri siin asju, mida tema oli ikka kohe rääkinud. And nobody talked to each other about what they were going to say. They just all got up and did it. And ja. it just was, it was awesome. Ja inimesed ei rääkinud omal kokku, ei lepinud kokku, mida nad räägivad, vaid lihtsalt tõusid üles ja, ja rääksid need asju, mis nad rääksid. See oli väga uh, But one of his sayings was, I forgot what I was going to tell you. <laughs> ja üks neid tema ütelus oli see, ma, ma olen ära unustanud, mida ma tahtsin öelda. Um, oh, this was it. You can please some of the people some of the time. Ja sa võid olla meelepärane mõnedel, mõnedel inimestele mõne, mõnel, mõni kord. But you will not please all of the people all of the time. Aga sa ei saa olla meelepärane kõikidel inimestel alati. You can please some of the people some of the time. Ja mõni kord sa võid olla mõnedel inimestele meelepärast. But you will not please all of the people all of the time. Aga sa ei ole kunagi kõikidel inimestele alati meelepärane. And so if I had a fight with my friends, that was the saying that I got. Ja siis kui ma pidin võitlema oma kaklema sõpradega, siis ma kasutasin seda ütelust. If my heart was broken because I had problems with a girl, that was the conversation that I got. Ja siis kui mu süda oli murtud, kui ma olin... My romance. Ja mingisuguse romantisele hetkel, siis ma kasutasin seda ütelust. Ah? Oli lahku läinud? Oli Your dad? Uh, no, I didn't get the point. No, she, if, I had yeah, girl, if I had girl problems, yeah, my problem. dad would say... Ah, your dad would say, okay, yeah. I thought you would say. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> if I had girl she problems... It, she got it right. <laughs> okay, if I had girl problems... Yeah, kui oli probleeme tüdrukutega... My dad would say... Siis mu isa ütles... <laughs> well, you can please some of the people some of the time, but you can't please all the people. Et sa ei saa alati olla kõik inimeste meelepärane, aga sa võid olla mõnikord mõned inimeste meelepärane. <laughs> And I say, yeah, yeah, dad, fine. <laughs> my heart's broken. <laughs> ja ma ütlesin isa, jah, väga tore, aga mu süda on murtud. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, but you, you know, just, just remember that, son. <laughs> So, I love my dad. I can't wait to, to see him again in heaven. 
ootan pikki silmi mina ma saan teda jälle näha but as a leader you need to know not everybody's going to like all your decisions ja sa pead juhinad teadma seda et mitte kõik inimesed mitte kõik inimestel ei meeldi sinu otsused and you need to be aware of that ja sa pead olema teadlik sellest as a leader you need to develop some tough skin sometimes ja mõni kord sa pead sellist paksu nahka endale kasvatama because you need to make tough decisions to go where it is that you feel god has called you to go ja sa pead võtma vastu selliseid raskeid otsuseid et minna sinna kui jumal tahab et sa läheksid and uh, you know Sometimes as a leader you need to make a decision that nobody else wants to make. Ja mõni kord sa pead võtma juhina vastu sellised otsused, mida mitte keegi teine ei taha vastu võtta. So leadership is not always just glory and honor and praise. Ja et juhtimine ei tähenda alati seda, et et kõik sind kiidavad ja 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 et on selline auline positsioon. A lot of times it's a position why people say, "Oh, why did we have to do that?" Ja mõni kord tihti lugu on nii, et inimesi ütlevad, et miks me küll peame seda tegema. Or why can't I do that? Miks mina, uh, uh, miks mina ei saa seda teha? I wanted to do that and he said I can't. Ma tahtsin seda teha, aga, aga juht ütles, et ma ei, et ma ei saa seda teha. What is he, God? Kas ta on Jumal või? No, but I am the pastor. Ei, aga ma olen pastor. And sometimes I need to make a decision that I feel is best at the time. Ja mõnikord ma pean, ma pean vastu võtma sellised otsuseid, mis on antud hetkel parimad. And so especially when it comes to certain decisions, there's going to be people that aren't going to always like the decisions that you make. Ja mis puudutab siis neid otsuseid, siis on alati inimesi, kellele need ei pruugi meeldida. But we have got to be ready as leaders aga to juht... take on the responsibility for, for the decisions we aga do. Aga me peame olema juhtidena valmis võst, võtma vastu seda vastutust need otsuste e- eest, mis me, mis me vastu võtame. And when you do make decisions, ja kui sa teed otsuseid, don't be influenced by the wrong people. Siis ära lase ennast mõjutada valedest inimestest. You need to do the very best that you can to have the right people around you to help you make wise Ja sa pead tegema parima, et ümbritseda ennast headest inimesest, tarkadest inimestest, kes aitavad sul neid otsuseid teha. You know, I, I enjoy having people around me who can give me opinions. Ja mulle meeldib, et mu ümber on inimesed, kes ütlevad mulle oma arvamuse. And there are some decisions for the church that I make that I don't ask everybody's uh, opinion. Ja on mõningaid kogudus puudutavad otsuseid, mis ma võtan vastu küsimata teiste inimeste arvamust. Because I know what is right and what is wrong sest, in that situation. Sest ma tean, mis on antud olukorras õige ja mis on vale. But there are a lot of the decisions that we make in this church that I run past the leadership of our church. Aga paljud otsused, mis, mis me siin koguduse vastu võtame, on sellised, mille puhul ma pean nõu teiste juhtidega enda ümber. And I want to I want to make sure that that other people are are with me and are helping me. Ja ma tahan olla kindel, et teised inimesed on minuga ja aitavad mind. But I don't want to be overly influenced by other people. Aga ma ei taha olla liialt mõjutatud teistest inimestest. I like to hear different views and and then be able to make my own decision. Ja mulle meeldib kuulda erinevaid vaatepunkte ja ja nende alusel teha langetada enda otsus. But there are some people that that aren't so so careful with that aga mõned inimesed ei ole selles selles asjas väga hoolsad and whenever somebody has an opinion or 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 some advice they just say okay well let's do that ja kui keegi ja tuleb välja mingisuguse nõuga või mingisuguse soovitusega siis ta ütleb et okei okay, teeme seda siis and then somebody else comes up with a great idea that's a little bit opposite but it sounds great say well okay yeah we could do that ja siis tuleb keegi teine kellel on hoopis teissugune aru saama aga see tundub ka hea ja siis ütleb okei okay, teeme siis seda parem and we see this in Saul's life as he was trying to keep everybody happy and in, in, at the end nobody was happy. Ja see, me näeme seda Sauli elus, et ta püüdis nagu kõikidele meelepärane olla ja lõpuks äh, viis see selle sellisse at the end nobody was happy. Ja lõpus ei olnud mitte keegi enam õnnelik. Right? When you're trying to keep everybody happy, you're going to make nobody happy. Ja, kui sa püüad kõik inimesi õnnelikuks teha, siis äh, tegelikult ei tee seda mitte kedagi õnnelikuks. And so so don't make don't don't have the wrong people giving you the wrong advice and you just just take whatever advice is coming. Ja ära lase valedel inimestel endale nõu anda ja ja ära võtta vastu igat nõuanet mis tuleb because if you're not careful sest kui sa ei ole hoolikas you will no longer be leading siis sa enam ei juhi but people will be leading you vaid inimesed juhivad sind and that should not be the way that it is ja see ei peaks nii olema i think in the kingdom of god there is a a a a, a top down structure thank you ja jumala riigis on selline struktuur paigas kus keegi on siis tipus ja teised Uh, on tema all. But our hearts got to be right. Aga meie südamed peavad olema õiged. And so maybe you have a position of leadership but you got to keep your heart right. Ja võib-olla sa oled mingis juhipositsioonis aga sinu süda peab ka olema õige siis. And you're wanting to have the best for everybody. You want to lift up everybody else. Ja sa saad tõsta üles kõiki teisi. And sa, this is nende parimat. And this I think is the struggle for leaders in the kingdom of God. Ja see on see võitlus mis on juhtidel Jumala riigis. Is this my responsibility to make a tough decision that might not make everybody happy? Ja minu vastutus on võtta vastu raskeid otsuseid mis ei pruugi kõik inimesi õnnelikuks 
down. But my heart is that when we do this, that it's going to help everybody be lifted up. Aga minu süda on see, et, et kui me teeme seda, siis see, see tõstab kõiki, te, aitab, tõstab kõiki teisi inimesi üles. That it's going to help us to represent God in a better way. See aitab meil esindada Jumalat paremal viisil. And so this is, this is the struggle and the conflict of leaders in the kingdom of God. Ja see on see võitlus, see konflikt, mis on juhtides Jumala riigis. But here's some verses uh, that, that can encourage you to just have the right people around you. Ja siin on mõned salmid, mis julgustavad sind selles, et sul oleksid õiged inimesed sinu ümber. Go with me to Proverbs chapter 1 verse 5. Lähme õpetus sõnade esimese peatükki salmi 5. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 5. I want to read this out of the Amplified. Õpetus sõnad 1-5 loeme selle laiendatud piiblist. It says, and the wise will hear and increase their learning. Tark kuulab ja kasvab selles, mida ta õpib. Listen, the wise will hear and increase their learning. Ja tark kuulab ja, ja, ja tema, see, see ja kasvab selles, mida ta õpib. And the person with, of understanding will acquire wise counsel and the skill to steer his, his course wisely and lead others to the truth. Ja arusaja inimene omandab tarku nõuandeid ja oskuse targalt oma kurssi hoida ja juhtida teisi tõe juurde. And so when you have understanding of, of your situation, et kui sa saad aru oma olukorrast, you're going to want to have some wise counsel around you. Siis sa tahad, et sul oleksid tarku nõuandjad sinu ümber. So that you could be able to lead people to a better place. Et sa võiksid juhtida inimesi paremasse paika. And this is very, very important. Ja see on väga tähtis. I think it's really important to, to run your ideas past other men and women of God. Ja on väga tähtsis, et sa arutad oma ideesid teiste Jumala meeste ja naistega. If you're, especially if you're making a big decision in your life. Eriti kui sa võtad vastu mingit suuri otsuseid oma elus. Something that's going to affect your future. Midagi sellist, mis mõjutab su tuleviku. It, it, it's always good to run those things past others who might be able to give you their point of view. Ja siis on alati hea arutada seda teiste inimeste, kes annavad sulle oma aru saama. Or maybe find somebody who's already been through what you're going through. Või leia ke- 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 selline inime, kes on olnud juba sellises olukorras, millest sina läheb läbi lähed. And say, hey, I know that you've dealt with this and this is how I'm thinking of, of dealing with it. What do you think? Ja ütle tale, et ma tean, et sina oled sellest läbi läinud, millest ma praegu olen ja kuidas sina minu asemel käituksid. And then in, in Proverbs chapter 15 verse 22 it says this. Ja õpetus sõnad 15:22 ütleb seda. Proverbs 15:22. Õpetus sõnad 15:22. Says plans fail for a lack of counsel, but what's my whole page just left? But with many advisors they succeed. Nõu pidamiseta nurjuvad kavatsused aga lähevad korda paljude nõuandjate abiga. Plans fail for a lack of counsel. Et plaanid kukuvad läbi nõu anne an, but with many advisors they succeed. It is important that you have the right people around you. It's important that you have people in your life to give you advice. We've talked about this before. If you become the smartest person in your group of people, it's time for you to find a new group. Siis on aeg leida mingi uus, uh, you need to find somebody else that you could be around who's smarter than you. Inimesed, kes on somebody who has been where, where you want to go. Kes on seal, kuhu sina jõuda tahad. And there's always going to be people that will be able to do it better than you. Ja alati on inimesi, kes suudavad seda teha paremini kui sina. Now I'm not saying that you leave the people that you're with because they might still need you. Ja see ei tähenda, et sa jätad need inimesed maha, kellega sa oled, sest nad võivad sind endiselt vajada. But sometimes you might rise to a certain level. Aga mõnikord sa jõuad mingile kindale tasemele. And then because of the people that are around you, that's as far as you're going to be able to go. Ja siis sa ei saagi kaugale minna need inimesed õttu, kes on sinu ümber. And that's when you need to start looking to say, okay, who else can I look to in my life? to be an example. Ja siis sa pead vaatama ringi ja, ja, ja mõtlema, kes võiks olla minu elus veel eeskujuks. And believe God that he will bring the right people into your life at the right time. Ja uskume, et Jumal toob õige laeal õiged inimesed sinu elu. So that you could have advisors that will help you to be a success. Et sul oleks nõuandjad, kes aitavad sul olla edukas. And then in Proverbs 19 and verse 20, Ja siis õpetus sõnad 19.20. And I want to read this out of the New Living Translation. Ja ma loen selle uuest elavast tõlkest. It says, get all the advice and instruction you can. Omanda nii palju nõuandeid ja juhtnööre kui võimalik. So you will be wise for the rest of your life. Siis oled sa tarku kui ülejäänud elu. Amen. Amen. Get all the advice and wise counsel that you can so that you can be wise. Ja saa nii palju nõuandeid ja tarku juhtnööre kui võimalik. And so to be a successful leader. Ja siis sa oled edukas. Ja selleks, et ole edukas juht. The people around you matter. Siis on tähtis, millised inimesed on sinu ümber. And it is important that you surround yourself 
with the right people. Ja on oluline, et sa ümbrid seda ennast õiged inimestega. And so who are the right people? Ja kes on siis need õiged inimesed? The right people is this. And I'm just going to go through a list and you could write these down if you're taking notes. Ja ma lähen, mul on selline nimekiri nendest omadustest ja sa võid need üles kirjutada. But the, the right people are people that will support the vision of the organization. Ja õiged inimesed on need, kes toetavad organisatsiooni visiooni. Now this is, this is the kind of people that you need to look for. Ja sa pead otsima sellise inimesi. To help you to do what it is that God has put in your heart to do. Kes aitaksid sul teha seda, mida Jumal on vanud su südamest, et sa teeksid. But as we go through this list, I want you to also be these kind of people. Aga kui me vaatame nüüd seda nimekirjas, siis ma tahan, et sa oleksid ka selles nimekirjas. I don't want you you just to find the right people. Ma, ma taha, et sa lihtsalt leiaksid õiged inimesi. I want you to be the right people. Ma tahaksin, et sa oleksid ise ka see õige inimene. Amen. Amen. We should be people that others would look to to help them accomplish their goals. Ja meie peaksime olema need inimesed, kelle poole teised vaatavad, et me aitame neil nende eesmärke täita. But we should find people that support the vision or, 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 or the, 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 the way that the organization is going. Ja me peame leidma inimesi, kes toetavad seda visiooni Mille, mida mööda mingi organisatsioon siis liigub. That they believe in what it is that you want to do. Et nad usuvad sellese, mida sa tahad teha. And then uh, you want to find people who respect the leader. Ja siis sa leia, tahad leida inimesi, kes respekteerivad juhti. And so we've already talked about uh, uh, one aspect of this tonight. Ja me oleme selle, selle asja ühest aspektist juba täna ahtul rääkinud. You know, somebody always trying to be liked, like King Saul. Ja nagu kuningas Saul, kes tahtis et, alati, et ta meeldiks inimestele. But you don't need to be liked to be respected. Aga eh, ei ole selleks, et, et olla lugu peetud ei tähenda, et, et sa peaksid ilmtingvata meeldima. Think about it in your own life, at least I can in mine. Mina näiteks võin mõelda oma enda elus. But, but in your own life you probably have people Aga sinu elus näiteks on inimesi that you maybe don't like very much. Ilmselt on inimesi, kes, kellele sa eriti ei meeldi. Maybe they wouldn't be people that you would choose to go out to eat tonight after ja, church. Ja võibolla need, on, need ei ole inimesed, kellele sa tahaksid pärast koosolekud minna sööma välja. But you respect them. Aga sa pead neist lugu. Right? And so those that might have great businesses. Ja need, kellele on võibolla suured ärid. You don't have to like the person to respect sulle, what they've done. Ei pea, sa, nad ei pea sulle meeldima selleks, et sa neid neist lugu peeksid. To peeksid. respect the, what, what they've accomplished. Et sa peaksid lugu sellest, mis nad on saavutanud. And, and as a leader, there's going to be times that, that you're not going to have people always like every decision you've made, like we've talked about. Ja juhina ei, ei pruugi alati olla nii, et inimestele... Kõikid inimestele meeldivad need otsused, mida sa oled vastu võtnud, aga me juba rääkisime. But make sure that you are living a life of somebody that is worthy of respect. Aga ela, ole kindel, et sa elad sellist elu, mis on väärt lugu pidamist. And make sure that you have people around you who respect you. Ja ole kindel, et sa ümbritsed ennast inimestega, keda, kes sind respekteerivad. Because they are going to be the people that will help you the most. Sest need on inimesed, kes sind kõige rohkem aitavad. And then you want to have people around you who will compliment and add to the gifts that you have. Ja siis äh, on vaja inimesi, kes sinu ümber, kes lisavad sellele, äh, lisavad oma anni või lisavad sellele, äh, sellele tööle, mida sina teed midagi juurde. Because all of us have gifts and abilities that are God given. Sest meil kõigil on Jumalast antud võimed ja annid. And when you have people around you that, that, that add to that and make those things more uh, Doable. Ja kui sinu ümber on inimesed, kes lisavad sellele ja muudavad selle asja kergemini tehtavaks. Those are the kind of people that we should be looking for to surround ourselves with in life. Siis me peaksime otsima ja tahtma ennast ümbritseda just nendest inimestest. People that have strengths that maybe the, 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 as a leader you don't have. Inimesed, kellel on tugevusi, mida sinul juhina ei pruugi olla. And many leaders get insecure with this. Ja paljud juhid muutuvad selles asjas eba kindlaks. Because they have people that are wiser in some areas than they are or more talented in some areas Sest than they are. on näiteks inimesi, kes on mõnes valdkonnas targemad kui nemad või, või andekamad kui nemad. And, and uh, a lot of times that, that causes them to back away from things. Ja tihti lugu see paneb neid taganema asjades. Um, I, I've learned the lesson, I don't know if it how I learned it, but I've learned it. But I am so thankful to have people around me that are so much better than me. Like, I need people that, that can interpret. 
Ja, mul on vaja inimesi, kes tõlgivad. Because I can't preach in English and Estonian at the same time. Sest ma ei ole võimeline ühe, ühe aegselt jutlustama Eesti ja Inglise keeles. I'm thankful for people that understand technology. Ja ma olen tänulik inimest eest, kes saavad tehnikast aru. Because I still am just, you know, I'm able to write an email and that's about as far as it goes. <laughs> ma ikkagi või, või jätkuvalt olen võimeline ainult kirjutama ühe e-maili ja see on ka kõike, mis ma suudan selles valdkonnas. And so you, you know, I'm, I'm lucky to know that. I'm lucky just to know that. Ah, ma olen onnelik, et ma sedagi oskan. And so I'm not really technical. Nii et ma ei ole eri, eriti tehni, tehnika kalduvuste kenimine. I'm not, I don't, I don't have musical skills. Mul ei ole muusikalise oskusi. I don't have, uh, you know, I can't do everything that we do. Ja ma ei ole võimeline tegema kõik asju, mida me teeme. And I love to be able to have people around me that are so much better and smarter than me at stuff that it just makes my job so much easier. Aga mulle meeldib ennast ümbritseda või me, mulle meeldib see, et minu ümber on inimesed, kes oskavad teha need asju palju paremini kui mina. But... Aga there are some people that look at it the other way. Aga mõned inimesed vaatavad asjade teist moodi juhtus vastupidiselt. When, when you have an insecurity on the inside. Kui sinu sees on mingi ebakindlus. And somebody is better than you at something. Ja, ja keegi on sinus mingis asjas parem. It causes you to push them down instead of lift them up. Siis sa püüad neid hoopis maha suruda selle asemel, et üles tõsta. Don't be that type of a person. Ära ole selline inimene. Let's lift up the gifts that are around us. Tõstame üles need annid, mis on meie ümber. Let people shine and they will be able to lift you up. Las inimesed säravad ja siis on nad võimelised ka sind üles tõstma. And so, uh, you know, most of our staff working here in this church are not like me at all. Ja enamik inimesi meie juhtkonnas ei ole üldse minu moodi. And they are better than I am at what they do. Nad on paremad selles, mis nad teevad minus. And they help me to accomplish the vision that God has given us as a church. Ja nad aitavad mul täita seda visiooni, mis Jumal on annud meile kogudus. I am so thankful for all the ones that God is putting into position in this church. Ja ma olen Jumalale nii tänulik kõige need inimeste eest, kes, kes on selles koguses mingil, mingis, mingil positsioonil. And I believe that we're going to be able to go farther and do so much more together. Ja ma usun, et me võime minna veel kaugemale teha palju parem, äh, paremaid asju tulevikus. And if you don't have people around you that are that are adding to what you do. Ja kui sinu ümber ei ole inimesi, kes lisavad sellele juurde, mida sina teed. Then as a leader you will never grow to your full potential. Siis sa ei kasva juhina kunagi oma täis potentsiaalini. And so make sure you look for those kind of people. They're the right kind of people. Et ole kindel, et sa et sa otsid just sellised inimesi, sellised õiged inimesi enda ümber. Another type of person you need to look for is somebody with some spiritual maturity. Ja taas sa vajad sellised inimesi, kes on vaimselt küpsed. Somebody that can influence other people for good. Kes uh, omavad teistele, teiste inimestele head mõju. And maybe uh, they wouldn't do it like you would do it necessarily. Ja võibolla nad ei tee just uh, täpselt nii nagu sina teeksid. But they can help bring people closer to God. Aga nad aitavad inimesi tuua Jumalale lähemale. And those are the kind of people that you want to have around you. Ja sellised inimesed sa tahad enda ümber. And then you want to have people that have the gift of leadership. Ja siis sa tahad sellised inimesed, kellel on juhi and. Don't be afraid of strong people. Ära karda tugevaid inimesi. And there's sometimes you might might question your ability to lead. Ja võibolla mõni nad seavad kahtus alla sinu võime juhtida. I think that goes through everybody's head at some point. Ja ma arvan, et see asi käib iga ühe peast läbi mõnikord. You know, can I really do this? Am I really supposed to do this? Kas ma tõesti suudan seda teha, kas ma pean seda tegema? And then we question ourselves sometimes. Ja siis me kah- saame kahtus alla ise enda. But, ise don't, but don't be afraid of mõnikord. strong strong people around you. Maga ära karda tugevaid inimesi enda ümber. Because they're going to be able to help you to do more. The stronger the group is with you, the more you'll be able to do. Sest et nad aitavad sul saavutada enam, mida rohkem tugev, mida tugevam on see grup sinu ümber, seda, seda enam on võimalik saavutada. And I think those that, that are in leadership position can recognize other leaders. Ja ma usun, et need, kes on juhi positsioonil, need tunnevad ära teised inimesed, kes on sarnased. And, and you're going to be able to help them to excel in what it is that they, they are called to do in their own lives. Ja siis sina saad aidata neil paremaks muutuda nendes asjades, mida, mida nemad teevad oma elus. And the quicker you recognize leadership ability in other people, ja mida kiiremi sa tunned ära juhi oskused teistes inimestes, I think the more it will be a help to you. Ma usun, et seda suurem on see sulle. When you get them in the right place doing the right thing. Kui sa paned nad õigetesse paikadesse tegema õigeid asju. That they will help you to do what it is that God has called you to do. Et nad aitavad teha sinu seda, mida Jumal on kutsunud sind tegema. Another type of person you want to have? Ja jäl, jällegi inimesed, keda sa tahad enda ümber omada. Is people with the gift of wisdom. On need, kellel on tarkus and. That they, they, they know how to hear from God. Nad teavad, kuidas kuulda Jumala käes. They know how to put things together. Nad teavad, kuidas asju kokku panna. That you don't, don't just bring anybody alongside of you. Ja, ja, <laughs> Don't just bring just whoever. Ja sa ei too lihtsalt enda kõrvale üks puha keda. You know, and, and, but you want to bring people that have been a success. Sa tahad, sa tood sellised inimesi, kes on olnud edukad. You know, you don't want to go to the guy that just lost everything, lost his job and lost his house and ja ask him financial 
advice. Ja küsi rahandus, raha, raha alast nõu inimesed, kes on just kaotanud oma kodu ja, ja oma töö. You know, you don't want to ask the guy who just got a divorce for marriage counseling. Ja sa ei küsi abielu alast nõu inimesed, kes just lahutas oma abielu. For marriage counseling, yeah? Yeah. Ja. Okay, so that, I mean, that's, that's not how you, you, you should surround, what, those are not the kind of people you should surround yourself with. But surround yourself with people that are a success. Look for people that are doing well and get them close to you. So that you can run your ideas onto them and they can bounce them back to you. And then you want to get, get with the people that have the right motives. Ja siis sa taad ennast ümbritse inimeste, kelle on õiged motiivid. You know, sometimes uh, people might not have all the, the great results in their lives. Ja mõnikord inimestel ei pruugi olla uh, uh, suuri tagajärgi oma elus. But you can see that they've got the right motives. Aga sa näed, et nende motiivid on õiged. Amen. Not everybody in this church, uh, you know, is a millionaire. Ja mitte kõik siin koguduses ei ole miljonärid. At least that I know. <laughs> but one thing I do, I do see is that there are so many people in this church that have the right heart motives and, and do the best with their finances. This makes me so proud and, and so, so happy to see what God is doing in your lives. Because your heart is right, I believe it's going to open the door to great things. And when I see somebody that has the right heart, those are the kind of people that I want to be with. And then we want to find the people that take responsibilities for the decisions that are made. You know, one of the things that I I've told my staff many times in the past. Ja mina vikus ma lenna oma meeskonnale tihti lugu öelnud ühte asja. Is don't give me a problem unless you give me a solution. Et ärge anke mulle probleemi kui te anna mulle ka lahendust. Don't come to me and tell me the soundboard's not working. Fix it. Ärge tulge minu juurde öelge et heli pulte tööta tee see korda. I'm going to say Great, I don't know how. Right, but what I, when they come to me and say the soundboard's not working, I say, give me a solution. Bring me the solution. And don't, don't, don't be complaining about everything until you're ready to help with the problem. And I'm sure that, that as you come here, you, you look around, you think this church is not perfect. And if there's an area that you, you don't like, Ja kui on selline valdkond, mis sulle ei meeldi. Don't just go around everybody and complain about it. Ja siis ära käi ring rihtsalt ja, ja äh, kritiseeri või hädalda kõikide teiste kuuldes. Come to me with the answer and say, I can help you to do this better. Tule minu juurde vastusega ja ütle, et ma võin aidata teha seda asja palju paremini. And you know what'll happen? Ja tead, mis siis sünnib. I'll put you in charge to do that. Ma panen sind selle asja üle, et, sa te- et seda teha. And so we're, we're, you know, get the people around you that, that will, will be ready to work together with you. Nii et ümbrits ennast inimeste, kes on valmis koos sinuga and, and they will help you with the solution. And, and uh, it'll make people think before they, they complain. Amen. And those are the kind of people I want around me. Not a bunch of complainers. But people that say, okay, let's do this better. Hallelujah. And so, um, this is kind of... What, what the direction we're going to be going here for the next couple of weeks. We're going to be looking at things that we can do, that we can apply to our own lives and to our own situation, to our own church. On how we can be better it is what it, at what it is God has called us to do. And that as we apply these things, that, that we can be a good leader in the kingdom of God. Siis me saavad head juhid Jumala riigis. And so uh, I, I could go a little bit further tonight but let's just stop right there.
Ma võiksin minna kaugemal, aga ma arvan, et piisab sellest küll tänaseks õhtus. That's a good place to stop and then we'll just pick up on this next time. Et see on hea paik, kus teha paus ja järgmine kord edasi minna. But would you stand with me? Aga olge head ja te uske. And let's just go to God and let's just ask him to help us. Läheme lihtsalt Jumale juurde ja palume, et ta aitaks meid. That he would help us and in our ability to lead others. Et ta aitaks meid meie võimest teisi juhtida. That he would give us strength. Et ta annaks meile jõudu. That he would give us wisdom. Et ta annaks meile tarkus. That he would give us the eyes to see. Et annaks meile silmi näha. So that we could surround ourselves with the right people. Et me võiksime ümbritsa endid õiget inimestega. And that we would not fall into this trap of trying to please everybody. Ja et me ei langeks sellesse lõksu, kus me püüame kõikidele meele pärane olla. But that our whole heart will be, I just want to please my Father in heaven. Vaid et meie süda oleks selline, et me tahame olla Jumalale oma isale meele pärase. Because that's really all that matters. Sest see on tegelikult see, mis on tähtsus. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for your church. Isa, ma täna on siin sinu koguduse ees. I thank you for those that you have called into this place. Ma täna on siin nende ees, keda sa oled kutsunud sellesse paika. Those that you have placed here to help us accomplish the God-given vision. Neid, keda sa oled siia paika toonud, et aidata täita seda visiooni. And Lord, I thank you for bringing leaders into this place. Ja isa, ma tänan, et sa tood juhid sellesse paika. That you bring people that are called to lead others. Et sa tood inimesed, kes on kutsutud teisi juhtima. That you develop within us the ability to lead. Et sa arendad meis seda võimet juhtida. You help us to grow in the things that we do. Sa aitad meil kassale nendes asjades, mida me teeme. So that we're able to serve you even better. Et me võime paremini siin teenida. And Lord, I Thank you that you're blessing this church. Ja isand, ma tänan, et sa oled õnistanud seda kogudus. That you're blessing this church with men and women who have eyes and a heart after your own heart. Et sa oled õnistanud seda kogudus meest ja naistega, kellel on süda sinu järele. That you help us to see people the way that you see them. Et sa aitan meil näha inimesi sellisena nii nagu sina näed neid. That you help us to lift people up. Et sa aitan meil inimesi üles tõsta. And help them to shine. Ja aitan neid särada. And as we do that, Lord, I thank you that the whole church will rise. Ja kui me seda teeme, siis ma tänan, et terve kogudus tõuseb. And I pray, Lord, that we would learn these lessons. Ja ma tänan, et me õpime need õppe tunnid. That we would learn to be very careful with our promises. Et me õpime olema tähelepanelikud selles osas, mida me lubame. And Lord, that we would be very careful with the people that are around us and trying to please them. Et me oleme ettevaatlik sellega, et me püüaksime olla inimestele kogu aeg meile pärased. That we would not try to be just good in the eyes of people. Et me ei püüaks olla lihtsalt inimeste silmis head või head välja näha. But Lord, I thank you that you would be the one that we serve. Vaid, et sina oled see, keda me teenime. That together we would understand we're coming after you and your glory. Et koos me saame aru sellest, et me taotleme sind ja sinu au. May you get the glory in this place. Ja saa sina see au sellest paigas. Oh Lord Jesus, may people come and give you the glory here. Ja isand, last inimesed tulevad ja annavad sinule au sellest paigas. Lord, change the heart of our church. Muuda meie koguduse südamed. Help us to be a church that would worship at your feet. Aita meil olla kogudus, kes kumardab sind sinu jalge ees. Help us to be leaders that would bow before you. Aita meil olla juhid, kes kumardavad sinu ees. And Lord, that as we do, that you will continue to lift us up. Ja kui me teeme seda, siis ma tänan, et sina jätkuvalt tõstad meid üles. Thank you, Lord. No, tänan sind, isand. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing here. Aitäh sulle, isand, selle eest, mis sa teed selles paigas. Thank you for what you're doing in us. Aitäh selle eest, mida sa teed meis. Make us a better place. Tee see paik paremaks. Make this church the very best that it can be. Tee see kogudus nii heaks kui võimalik. Help us to shine bright in this world. Lase meil särada eredalt selles paigas. Hallelujah. We thank you for it, Lord. Me täname sind selle eest. Thank you for what you're doing in us. Tänu selle eest, mis sa teed meie sees. Thank you for the help that is available. Aitäh selle abi eest, mis on meile kätte saadav. We love you, Lord. Me armastame sind isa. We love you, Lord. Armastame sind isa. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Does anybody have a prayer request tonight? Something that we could lift up to the Lord.